Okay, hello. Welcome back, everyone. I have no idea why I love to record immediately after waking up and, like, when I feel absolutely terrible. But I'm doing it. I'm fucking doing it. What? Who's gonna stop me? No one can stop Are you gonna stop me? You couldn't stop me, even if you wanted to. You're just some guy on the internet. And so am I. But unfortunately, we're on two different internets. Whew. Okay, well, I'm back. Um... We're doing some more DCSS, some more Spriggan of Okawara, some more of our scary boy, almost getting one-shot by, like, basically everything. Um, but this time we're Okawara, so we don't give a fuck, right? We're, we're, like, we're in the... We're doing the good thing. We're getting done. And we have this weird troll of their armor-looking thing, and it looks really quite stupid, but, hey, that's what we're here for. We're here to just see what we can do about this... God damn. Oh, shit. Okay, I don't actually have finesse. Alright, well, that doesn't matter. Apparently, hero heroism is enough. Well, that's a bit scary. Like, I need some help right now. I need my character to just kind of grow up. Just stop being such a little shit. You know what I mean? I need that. If he could just, you know, just start getting some extra AC. Some, like, fire dragon armor. Actually, is there any dragon armor in this game? Nope. Like, if I could just get anything, like, quite decent, I'd be ha I'd be happy, you know, I'd, I'd be, I'd be content if I could get, like, I don't know, like, a fire dragon armor, or, you know, maybe, like, storm dragon armor, like, from last game, you know, the one that we put, we took off for, like, a bit, and then just got instantly one-shot because we made a mistake, like, these are all good things, you know, I would like to have some of these. Um, man, a lot of things have actually happened since, uh, since, like, I lost made the video. Because I actually made the video in advance. Oh, shit on my... Okay, well, that was scary. Ice Fiend and a Hellion right next to me. But I guess the Ice Fiend does not want to fight his own... Like, he doesn't want to torment his own ally. So, I was kind of safe there. But not really. Eh, either way. Whatever. We're good. We're good. I'm just going to check for a larger tang. Hey, wait a minute. There's a larger tang over there. In Shoals 4. And we dropped it. Because we weren't paying attention. Sweet. Nice. Let's go ahead and pick that up real quick. Just, you know. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Alright, well, there was our power-up that we were waiting for. Um, a plus three. A uh, plus five larger tank of vampiricism will make our day quite a bit easier. I mean, theoretically, it will. Because it makes us more tanky. But, you know, it could very well be that we're just not that strong anyway, because now our damage is a bit lower. I'm going to press Control o here. Uh, check what the Trove wants. Vaults 1, give 8 potions of haste. No, I don't want that. I would rather not. I would, I would not really want that, to be honest. Like, I don't want to give up 8 potions of haste. I don't really care what this is about, but 8 potions of haste is not really ever worth for a Trove. I mean, unless I have, like, 15 right now. I have 5, so, yeah. It's, like, it's not even anywhere near worth it. There's a bunch of stuff happening over there on the screen. I'm sure that, like, at some point I'll be in danger, but today's not that time. Like, I'm okay right now. I'm just gonna stand here in this corridor, let things, you know, happen around me. That's okay. With this new vampiric weapon, we're a lot tankier than we used to be, uh, which is really good. We do lose the damage from Drain, but... Mm, like, honestly, it doesn't matter that much. I'd rather have, like, the, the survivability than the damage. Drain isn't, like, the most insane weapon for damage anyway. Like, electrocution would be better. So it's not like I'm super miffed about it. Um, yeah, so this thing has Mindalay 0.7 at skill 14. Yeah, okay, good. Just making sure. I don't need the large tank of electrocution now. It's pretty much worthless at this point. I'll never unwield it to take this vampiric weapon off in the first place, so... Bleh. Who cares? Um, do I have enough MR? I mean, I have three pips, even though I shouldn't have any right to have three pips. It's cool, I guess. It's quite cool. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll put the hat... Oh, fuck. That was a waste of a enchant armor scroll. I forgot that I had this really cool hat on. whoops a daisies That really sucks. That actually really sucks, because... I'm going to get a heavy armor at some point, and that's just one AC that I just lose forever. I, I never get that AC back, because I'm never going to use that MR uh, when, I when I could have RFC double plus. So that is just unfortunate. 
Okay, well, that is basically what would happen if we try to go into Spida um, in that very fight. So it's a good thing we didn't get Spida this game, because otherwise I would be real sad. Ooh, granting us another weapon. Aquara finally picking up that we play with this thing. Unfortunately, doesn't quite understand the concept of um, of larger tanks and gives us one of suicidal tendency with uh, minus tele. That's definitely fitting. Suicidal tendencies and minus tele, like just exactly what you would expect. Oddly fitting. I like that. Right, this ice dragon armor potentially. I don't think I'd be able to use it though because I don't have RF plus. I need RF plus if I want to get uh, uh, dragon stuff. I mean, like, Ice Dragon Arm is okay. It's quite heavy. It's a bit like Plate, which is good. Um, but, yeah, we'd need a lot more RF to justify that, and we don't have any right now. Like, we don't have any at all, so... Yeah, there's no getting over that RF plus malice. Or RF minus issue. Like, we'd need about... I'd be... Like, I would have to have three comfortable pips of fire resistance on, like, random slots. Um minimum to really feel like ice dragon armor is good enough so like yeah i would not feel comfortable with anything less than r it's kind of like because i have the malice i want to overcompensate for it and have at least two pips of cold resistance at any time or at least three even though normally i'd be happy walking around with no defense at all like it's just i don't know it's like a mental thing i guess uh plus one ring of protection huh interestingly enough that's actually better than the dexterity slightly oh well not really but kind of just the the fact that i get one extra ac is like decent i guess i mean three decks is like pretty worthless so you know me whatever whatever it's all good i'm just gonna stay in this corridor i'm not particularly afraid of 1v1ing these uh vault guards i can just heroism once and then pretty much just solve the problem again uh i am a little bit worried about my uh, my food. I'm surprisingly a little low. Like, not super low, but just enough that I'm like, hmm, that's concerning. I don't know why I have this low amount. I mean, I am a Spriggan, so I'm not getting any corpses, but... I mean, maybe it's just because I'm resting too much. Okay, Fire Dragon corpse. Again, not giving me a Fire Dragon armor, so I can't even test the thing that I want to test. Bit disappointing, but hey. Sometimes you can't get exactly what you want and you just have to settle and that's what we're doing right now we're settling with nothing <laughs> really not compromising at all we're just kind of not getting what we want so it's like a bit it's a bit like the opposite of settling really it's just getting nothing okay um this is potentially very bad uh in fact it's so bad that i'm gonna just teleport here i'm not gonna even risk it even though i wasn't a good spot there I didn't want to risk potentially dying to um, the Cyclops in the... Uh, sorry, not the Cyclops, the Titan in the back. Attempting to fuck me up real bad. Like, that's a lot of giants. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that's a lot of dudes. I'm not into that. Like, I'm not into long engagements with other, you know, things. Okay. Potentially could get Storm Dragon armor here, would be nice. I don't think I did get it, though. Uh, I'm gonna just run for the hills. Uh, I'll blink. Like, that was a little scary. The constriction guy was on my ass and I was trying very hard to run away. And I was just worried about getting picked off by like a stray bolt from that ice giant. I mean, I do have R RC double plus, but it's still scary. Like, I still think it's quite a danger. Okay, well, we'll check out what this armor does. So, 1137 is 48. This is... 1728, which is 45. I mean, that's pretty good. It's like decent. It's decent enough that I'm happy to take it on. And if I add to the, if I change the dex thing, and we put this on, we go to 1629, which is like a little better, I guess. I don't know. Eh, not really. I guess this is fine, like for now. Oh shit, wait, we went to, to the wrong place. Whoops. Okay, we still need to finish this area off. I mean, Storm Dragon Armor was good. We, it was what we were using before. It was very decent. Like, I don't know why it even took it off. I, there was some other armor that I was like, oh, maybe this one works. Ow. Be 
yeah, having an extra resistance is just nice. Okay, there is a lich on that side. I don't really want to go down there anymore. Uh, but the other staircase has jewelry on it, and that's also kind of scary. It's warp quarter staff. It's not really good, but you know, just in case. Just in case is like really cool. It probably isn't, but you know, I want to ID it. It's free basically at this point. Might as well try. I don't think there's any quarter staff in the game right now that would actually be better than this weapon. So maybe it was a waste, but hey, whatever. You know, just just do it. Just have a bit of fun with it. Okay, so I'm gonna agility here. Oh my sweet god. I am very afraid of death right now. Like, I am actually afraid of one-shot death. Just gonna play it real slow. Get ready to blink. Okay. Oh, shit, that was scary. So, Jory has Crystal Spear, and that single-handedly makes it so that, like, that's a dangerous fight. It doesn't matter what situation that was, that was dangerous. Like, just because my health is so damn low, he, like, burst through my defense in, like, two shots. I mean, admittedly, I feel like Crystal Spear would have a hard time hitting me, with given that I have 28 of 8, or 31 of 8 now. But still, it's fucking scary. Okay, um, I'm gonna turn dodging off. Heroism provides plus 5 to everything, so having dodging at 22 basically means that if I use heroism, it maxes it out. Which is a very good point to, like, stop it on. I'm going to turn invocations off. Train a bit more pole arm, uh, a bit more staves. Like, mostly because I don't really care that much about EXP right now. And also because it adds a tiny amount of damage, which is fine. Like, obviously, yes, it is completely inefficient to train past Mindalay for a weapon. But on a larger tank, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Because you... Like, the Mindalay is, like, 14. I don't give a shit. And having a little bit extra damage is kind of nice to have on the vamp weapon. So I think it's fine to train past Mindalay in this scenario. Like, normally you, you have better stuff, right? Like, normally that's just the case. You just have stuff that makes you, like, is make it, uh, that makes it completely not worthwhile to train to min past Mindalay. In this scenario, though, we kind of have everything. This character doesn't really give a fuck about anything except, like, armor and fighting and dodging. And we've got, like, a lot of that, so it's not too bad, I suppose. And, like, you looked at the heroism, if you look at the heroism numbers, I only gained, like, two armor for, uh, for heroism -ing. So, training five extra armor only gives me two extra AC. So it's not actually that worth it for me to really, like, put a lot of effort into this. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up a couple of, like, good things, generally. I am spending a lot of my money, but, like, I don't have anything to spend my money on anyway, so I don't really give a shit. This is kind of good, it just powers our character up generally. I don't have to worry quite as much about him anymore. I'm going to pull back to this corridor. Um, the tentacled monstrosity is a little bit of an issue here. Yeah, that was a bit of a... Bit of a bother, really. Like, he was just killing us really hard. But yeah, the vamp weapon is just fucking amazing. Like, just look at this. Look at this thing go. It just wrecks shit so hard. We have we effectively become, like, a god when we have this weapon on, because... We heal back so much of our health at all points. Oh, that was an axe of distortion. It doesn't really matter that much, to be honest. Getting distorted at this point, especially as a Spriggan, doesn't doesn't mean anything. Realistically, so eh, I'm okay. There's Saint Roca. I'm just gonna run away for a bit, like not really out of fear, more just out of like good practice. I'm not like super afraid of him, just making sure that I don't want to die to him, or at least get picked off to a point where I have to use a consumable for no real reason. Like, I can just vamp off his smite damage at all times, but, you know, it's good practice. Just not to do that too much. Uh, we'll use heroism. Okay, didn't work quite as well as we hoped. Use finesse as well. Like, that's still pretty dangerous, actually, as a fight. He had anti-magic as a brand, so he landed one good hit on us, drained all our mana, and then that's a bit like taking out some of our health. And it's also, it also almost made it so that we couldn't finesse, so a bit... A bit worrisome, but that was okay. Alright. Let's go to do Depths now. Depths might be really hard for this character, specifically. Just because I have not that much health, and there's a good chance that I'll have to be doing a lot of stair pulling. So, if I get one shot, I get one shot. It's unfortunate. Um, larger Tang of Venom is kind of cool. I'll hold, on, I'll hold on to it. I don't think there's any 
brand that I really give a shit about, other than, like, specifically Vamp. But if I could get, like, Slicing or something, I can just switch to it for a, uh, an Orb of Firefight or something, just give me more damage. You know what I mean? Like, just a little bit extra damage is always nice. I mean, at this point, like, the larger tanks kind of suck in terms of pure base damage. Like, if you look up a Great Mace... Um... Fuck, where is the Great Mace? There was a Great Mace. I know there was a Great Mace, because, like, fucking St. Roka was using one. Great Mace. What? Can I just not use it? Oh, wait, no, it's because... It's because I can't... Yeah, okay, there we go. Because I'm not strong enough. Well, the Great Mace has, like... Actually, no, the base damage for Great Mace is, like, almost as much as the Larger Tang anyway, so it's basically just a, a Great Mace at 14 Mindoy. Never mind. Like, I was under the impression that it was kind of more along the lines of Dire Flail, but Dire Flail has a really shit base damage. Like, I was trying to think of a w reason why people don't use larger tanks that often, and the only real reason is, like, it's kind of rare. That's about it. Like, they're good weapons. Like, they're just straight-up good weapons. It's hard to deny them. Like, they have almost great base damage, and they also do, like, a lot of work. Okay, uh, these boggets might be a problem, but I just Wand of Clouded them. Wand of Clouds, the utility of Wand of Clouds never ceases to amaze me. Even at zero evo, it's just good. So it's just a nice, excellent armor. I mean, ex excellent tool for killing stuff. Wand of Flame, hmm. Could have used you on D2. Probably not nowadays. Like, not in depths. Like, I don't really need you here, to be honest. Like, I'll be brutal, not brutally honest with you. Don't exactly need you at this point. Gonna Heroes and Finesse here. Oh my sweet Jesus. Okay, we're running. Okay, we're really running now. Okay, I don't even want to be in melee with that guy. Because he's too scary. We'll just run away instead. Okay, kill the Rakshasa. Because we can. It's nice and convenient for us. Maybe vamp a little bit off these dragons. Okay. The Enchantress is a very dangerous opponent for this character. I could theoretically kill her quite easily, but in practice, this will be a very different opponent. Okay. Okay. We are our elect this time. Like, for real. So, fighting that guy was not as scary. Kind of heroism here, just to try to kill them. The, the reason why I was taking so much damage before was because these guys were smiting me from the back line. They were air striking me, which is a lot of damage. Um, can I, like, just hit a couple of acid shots and then maybe, like, a cloud thing? Heroism finesse here. Like, now the Enchantress is just in deep shit. Like, she can't really do anything. Pain, Venom, meh? Right? Like, they're not really that good. That's an insanely good, um, fair dragon scales, actually. Wow, that's fucking insane. Holy shit. Okay, MR plus, Arc Road, and Stealth is, like, all decent. So, damn, that's actually really good. Okay, I guess I'll use that. Because this thing, like, basically shits on my other thing. Uh, the Storm Dragon armor, for now. Uh, I also kind of want that vamp anti-magic demon whip. Uh, because that's a really just good thing to hold on to, just in general. Like, it's just good. Um, and I can also drop some of these other things. Like, it's just a good thing to hold on to, because if I have an Orb of Fire, an Ancient Lich, or whatever, I can just, I can literally just switch for funsies, and just, it's fine. Um, in fact, I'll actually train a minute amount of... Oh wait, no, I don't, it doesn't cross-train with Mason Flails, fuck. I thought it cross-trained with... No, it does cross-train with Mason Flails, okay, I'm not insane. I'm gonna train a bit of Mason Flails as well, just to try to get it up to about, like, 10 or 12. Then I'll Heroism Finesse. Actually, there's no point. No, 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 that's actually stupid. No, there's no point. Because I can already Heroism Finesse to get that to fit to Mindalay for the ma uh, whip. That's just, like, one of the benefits of just being a cool guy. <laughs> being an absolute sick lad. Being an Okawaru lad. Just lets me do that, apparently. I can just Mindalay swap whenever I feel. It's quite nice, actually. It's a good feel. Good feeling. Good feeling. Like, and I guess that solves that whole problem of, oh shit, what am I going to do if I have a, uh, an orb of fire or whatnot in my face? I'll just kill him with the anti-magic weapon. It's still kind of dangerous, but 
it's not that bad. Ooh, are we gonna replace our weapon already? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Drop that shit for me. Yes. Nice. That's really good. Holy shit. Okay, so this is 50. This is 40... 39. Wow, that's pretty bad, actually. Oh, shit. Like, this is... F oh, sorry, this is 57. This is 39. There's a lot of defense down. But we get RF and, like, all that good stuff. In fact, that actually makes me realize that it's probably not worthwhile for us to even consider this gold dragon armor. Until, at, least, at least until it's, like, maxed out in terms of power. I don't think it's worth it. This is a hat of ponderousness. We don't really need that at this point. We have a really good hat already. And ponderousness just makes things worse. So we're looking for a good source of RF. And if we can get that, that's, like, ideal. Okay, that's a garbage ring, mostly. I mean, theoretically, could be good if if plus six strength ma uh, meant that, like, the armor encumbrance bullshit was, like, better. But I don't think it is. Fire Dragon Scales, 57. This is 48. But it does give us RF double plus, so we might have to consider that as our option. Like, 15 AC just hurts to look at. It's just brutal. Like, it's bad. It's Don't get me wrong, it's really bad. Compared to this shit, like, it's just awful. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's like a hidden thing here. Oh, a bunch of quarter staves and whatnot. Okay, I know you guys want to see that, so I'll just ID it. Wow, that is a weapon. Damn, that is... That is a real weapon. Holy shit, okay. Okay, well, that's RF double plus MR triple plus. Like, that's good as a weapon to hold on to, but it's not actually good as a weapon. Like, it just sucks. It's a plus four, like, a uh, plus six quarter stuff with Venom, so it's, it's shit. Like, don't get me wrong, it's shit. It's just that, like, it's so, so much stuff that I kind of want that maybe I'll do it, because I'm insane like that. I'm gonna heroism finesse and just stand here. I'm a fucking badass baller, so you know I'm gonna just stand. Take a stand. Don't let these guys bully me. Ow. Okay, maybe we'll let them bully me a little bit, because this is getting a little dangerous, if you ask me. Just a little bit dangerous, you know what I mean? Just a little bit dangerous. Just a little bit dangerous. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna run away. Like, I did I did pretty good there, like, to be honest. I, I kind of, I stood my ground for sure. Like, I really did stand my ground. I tried so hard, guys. You, you know it. Everyone knows that I tried my tried my best. So you can't you can't judge me on that. Holy fuck. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. Like just having to stair pull at all as a Spriggan is just a nightmare. Because you never know if you're gonna get one shot or not. Like my defense is good, but it's not good enough that I'm like, oh yeah, I'll survive going upstairs and downstairs with like fifteen guys fighting me at the same time. Especially with fire damage, which I do not have a resistance for, by the way. So Ugh, yeah. Gonna heroism finesse here. It's gonna be a big pull. Gonna at least get three guys up with me. Otherwise, it's not worth it for me to heroism finesse there. Okay. Pulled by Suzanne out today. I'll kill the fire dragon. Uh, kill the ice dragon. Oh, actually, I'll just kill her. She's dumb and just decides to fight me without the aid of her Hydra allies. Foolish on for her. Drop the storm dragon scales, actually. Can pick hers up. Because maybe they'll be better. While I'm still Harrison Finesse and at full health, I'll go downstairs as well. Just chuck in extra, a little bit of extra value, squeeze it out. Um, I mean, yeah, this looks pretty good. Like, this looks quite decent. Gonna Harrison here. Can't actually vamp off of the Shadow Dragons. All have that, all have that moment where you're like, wait a minute, you can't vamp off those guys. You absolutely can't. So, be 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 cautious. Be cautious. Many a run has ended because you can't vamp off those. Okay, anyway. Wow, we somehow managed to gain piety in that fight. Probably because there were so many goddamn enemies in there, but... That is effectively the quintessential depth uh, experience. If you don't have at least one of these situations where you're just fucking worried that you're going to die because you're stair-pulling every 10 seconds. Like, are you really playing Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup 0.15 and onwards? Question mark. I remember when I first saw Depths, and I was like, what the fuck is this? This is so fucking difficult. But now it's just like every character has to do it. I was like, the fucking game is just completely impossible now. It's just retarded hard. Because like, D27, D20 weren't actually that... 
We are not RLEC. I am saying it now. We are not RLEC. This is truth. This is the truth. We are not RLEC. And thus, we run. And, and thus, we ran. We are not RLEC. We are not RLEC. Demise? Don't do this to yourself, boy. They're not our elect. Now we're our elect. We are our elect. This, this is truth. This is the facts. You can't lie about the facts. So let's go find our boy Nicola. Let's let's give him a warm welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Nicola, remember that time when you one shot me, you motherfucker. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. We are now no longer our elect. That was a dangerous one. That was a bit scary. I'm gonna finesse it. Mostly because I need to kill everything else around me. Okay. Uh, drop the fire dragon scale. Uh, actually, no. Wait, do I want to drop that one? Let's figure out what this... Lo oh, okay, the larger tank can go. The hat can go. These things can go, I guess. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. I just want to hold on to the, all these armors in case I, like, kind of need one. It's, it's weird. Like, you don't normally see me hoarding this much stuff, but this character is very indecisive when it comes to armors. So I'm just... Ah, I just... I don't know, guys. You know me. I just don't want... Ah, I don't want this to... I don't want my character to just not be prepared. You see that, like, Storm Dragon scale shit? I just needed to be prepared there. I'm just gonna heroism for this guy. It's Zathua. He's scary, but not that... Wow, you really... Ooh, you really scraped the bottom of the barrel with this one, Akawara. You fucking... Plus zero animal skin. Fucking nice. It wasn't even branded, it's just literally animal skin. What a fucking nightmare this character is. Aquara's just trolling us. Just straight up. Doesn't give a fuck. That's unfortunate, really. Alright. Depths 4. Here we go. We're here. We're ready to fight. That's a lot of fucking dudes. I'm not ready to fight that many dudes. I was ready for like... 6 to 10. You know what I mean? But when 25 people show up, it's just fucked up. You know what I mean? It's like when you go to a party and there's like, Oh, it's just a small gathering between friends. And it's just like everyone you fucking know and everyone else your friends know are all there. And you're like, Jesus Christ, that's like too many. Uh, oh, no. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna have to blink here. I got flayed real bad. I'm actually not gonna run. Okay, well, I'm gonna run. Never mind. I was gonna say, I'm not gonna run in the direction of the... Playable guy, the guy that's about to flay me again, but you know, apparently they just disappeared. So, Harrison Finesse here. Tenga Reavers, don't fuck with those guys. Like, that's a lesson to be learned. Don't fuck with Tenga Reavers, they will fuck you in the butt. And you know, that's not something that I'm willing to do, like, like ever, really, if you think about it. It's not really. Moon Troll Leather Armor, Spirit Regen plus plus MP plus five. That's a good one. I'm not gonna lie, that's a that's a pretty good one. It's tempting. It's tempting. I think at this point we've kind of gotten over that ne necessity to like have the troll other armor on. I think we've like moved on. We have enough strength that we don't really need it anymore. We can get something decent. Don't have to be using poverty troll leather armor. That shit's literally just like a stand-in for actual armor. Like that's what it was. Let's not lie to ourselves here. Okay, fire dragon, Jesus. You really, you really ruining my, my my rhythm here, man. You're messing my flow. Really, not a fan of that. But that's okay. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, that was a straight up Deva. Okay, I thought there was like a cave or something that I had to. Okay, well let's just go ahead and X that place off. We're not going anywhere near there. That's not that's not where we go. Okay, I'm surrounded by trolls. Another guy shooting me in the distance. You know, to me, it was just Tuesday. Oh, it actually is Tuesday today. That was a very good coincidence. I thought that... Yeah, okay, never mind. Sorry. Try to make a joke land. Didn't land as well as I hoped. And then immediately after that, I backtracked. And then I completely forgot what I was talking about. One of those classic games. You know what I mean? One of those classic demise quips. You know it's why you watch me. Like... To make, to make these awkward jokes, and then explain the meta behind the joke, like, it's really just what people love to hear. You know what I mean? It's, it's pure comedy. It's, it's comedy gold. Now, I was watching stand-up the other day. I don't think I, I don't think I get it. Like, I was watching Donald Glover.
because, you know, he's Childish Gambino, and I fucking love that guy. Um, oh, Scroll of Acquirement. Wait, we didn't get that before? Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, weapon is good. Weapon is definitely good. Jewelry, we only have plus three protection and RC plus. Armor is pretty good on most fronts. We have a good hat. Yeah, actually, I think armor's fine. I think jewelry is actually the best one in this case. If I can somehow get, like, RF plus or anything, really, like, that would be decent. But no, I get ring of positive energy instead. <sighs> you're really, you're really fucking with me on this one, man. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. Hey, an interdimensional caravan. Oh, someone's talking to me. What a scroll of acquirement, indeed. Bacabane. Uh, all right, yeah, all right. We'll go look for it. We'll go. We'll go find out where it is. You know, we're we're nice people. We're not. We're not animals. We're not sociopaths. Oh, there it was. Okay. okay. Well, our quest is finally over. We can now rest. We have found the interdimensional pa caravan. All right. I'm heroism finessing here. I'm standing my ground. Don't you guys ever fucking talk shit about me. Oh, robes in this day and age? No. And let's look at what we can get. So the RF plus is really good. I'm making sure not to buy anything because my gold is like kind of limited in this in this game. I want to be a little bit. Oh, that's so cheap though. 364 and 50. Oh, and what the fuck is wrong with this? All right, this shop's clearly broken. All the fucking things are really cheap right now. Don't know what that's all about, but I'm buying all that stuff because that's really good. Uh, definitely gonna enchant that. Gonna acquire another thing. Okay, there we go, that's, see, that's what we wanted from, from this game, like, that's what we are looking for, you know what I mean, this whole time, we just wanted some goddamn RF, that's all we need, alright, I'm gonna pick up the second pip of RF, and also the, oh, I can't pick up the RLEC AC plus three, you know what, fuck RF, we don't need RF, right, that shit's garbage, we're not gonna use it, we'd never use it, there's no situation where I could ever foresee myself requiring RF, like, there's no, there's no scenario, it's just flat out wrong. Like, anyone who says that there is, foolish. What, what are you even talking about? Do you even play this game? No, I don't think so. Alright, well we now have RLX, so the Storm Dragon Arm is defunct. Um, this is still 60 defense, this is considerably worse, at like 42. Um, the Fire Dragon Armor is 51. Yeah, it's just like straight up not good enough. This armor is just really fucking good. And I have a pip of RF now, so I'm, like, less afraid a little bit. Whew. Man, I opened Pandora's box up with that fucking extra move. Okay, I'm just gonna run. Here was up. You know, every caustic strike you find is grounds for using a consumable. It doesn't really matter if, like, it's a waste. It's just dangerous, you know what I mean? It's just dangerous. And a consumable, of course, refers to the god ability. I will heroism every enemy that I see that looks dangerous, even if they're not dangerous to a character that's, like, broken. Um, Caustic Strike, definitely, always gonna be at least heroism -y. Like, even sometimes finessing, in a 1v1. That's how dedicated I am. I finally got rid of the Ring of Magical Power, though, that's kinda cool. Like, I've been holding onto that shit for, like, about 10 weeks. And the plus 3 Dex Ring, which is fucking stupid. I can't believe I've been- Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Oh, oh my god. How did you know? How did you know I wanted this? How did you know I wanted this so much? The ring of robustness? For, for me? A AC? For me? Little old me? Little, de little demise? Holy shit. 8 AC like literally completes this character. I'm now like an actual character. Like in terms of like stats. I have like an insane amount of like of AC and evade now. Like wow. Our total, our total thing went up to like 68 now, which is fucking ridiculous. That's almost as much AC as a gargoyle has. Not, not, not 28, I mean like my AC and my evade combined. That's almost as much AC as a regular gargoyle. And if you think about it, that's broken. That's busted. Uh, I'm running. I'm gonna keep the RLEC on, uh, our fire on, mostly because I'm, I value RF slightly more than 3AC at this point, which, which sounds weird, but the reality is, is, like, taking fire damage is just gonna be a pain in the ass regardless, like, in all situations. I mean, only for depths, I mean, like, once I go to, I don't know, like, slime for my third rune or abyss or whatever, 
I, I might consider switching back to the RLX, but Fire is just more general, a better general defense, I think. It's a general, it's a better general resist, if that makes more sense. Okay. I'm gonna Heroism Finesse here, just because there's two Caustic Strikes on the screen, I'm too scared. I'm paralyzed with fear. So I must Heroism and I must Finesse to kind of get over it a little bit. Like, the character is now officially good. Like, we've been kind of crossing in and out. <laughs> really? Two animal skins. Damn, dude. The fuck? We're really going in with the fucking fashion today. Going with fashion dungeon crawlstone soup. Doesn't, doesn't quite ring the same, like, have the same, like, flow as fashion. Wait, do you guys not, do you guys not, like, let me, wait, what? Hang on a minute. Wait, do, can I not vamp off these guys? I thought I could vamp off these guys. Maybe I can't. Huh, interesting. Can I vamp off you? Like, seriously? I, sh I should be able to. They're humans. They're just, they're literally just humans. Like, they're just humans. Yeah, okay, I've d I do vamp off them. I was like, what the fuck? Why wasn't I vamping off them? I was like, heroismed or something, and then just didn't do anything. I was getting confused. Ah, shit. Okay. Wait, how long have I been recording? 36 minutes. Fuck, I have to end the video. Alright, I'll end the video here. Okay, just fucking go down. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that's so irritating. Just stop. Like, fuck. I get it. I know it's I know it's auto-excluded. I was the one who, who auto-excluded it. You know what I mean? Like, just fucking let me go. God. There we go. We got rid of that asshole. Now we can just... Oh, wow, shining one. I don't even know why I, like, spend so much time there. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here, because if I don't, I'm going to have to make a 15-minute long video, and I kind of have a lecture recording to listen to. Speaking of lecture recordings, fuck me. Two-hour lecture recordings are hell. This is why I fucking go to lectures, because this shit is nightmarish to listen to. The guy that... Like, I don't want to give away what... It is. It's economics, but I don't want to give away like what it is because I don't feel like it's right to talk shit about Electro. But this guy has the most boring name, and somehow he lives up to that name. He's so fucking boring, and he like does that little <laughs> laugh, but nothing he said was funny. Like he's like, <laughs> and you can see here like sometimes people actually like to spend money on cars. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? That's not funny. Stop fucking laughing, dude. Like, at least make a decent joke. Don't, don't like, just laugh because you find, oh, that's kind of interesting in my m m research. Like, your fucking students are, like, jaded second-year economic students. Because I have to, like, I kind of fly up and down the path of economics just to complete my degree. It's like, fuck, man. This guy's, like, so dull. And he doesn't give me fucking past papers. I hate that guy. But, you know, he's not that bad. But I still hate him. Because he's not giving me my shit. Anyway. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm going to stop ranting now. I'll see you all later.